Oh you guys, what is up and welcome back into the channel. Today, uh, we're going to be continuing looking at uh, the team's needs before the NFL Draft. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at the teams without a first round pick. Uh, first up, we have the Browns. Uh, they traded their first round pick to the Texans for Deshaun Watson last year. Um, their biggest needs are defense end, linebacker, and running back. Um, so the team replenished defensive tackle and wide receiver enough, or it can wait till day three for help. But the defense still needs to be bolstered. Um, and Nick Chubb is also sneaking up on his deal ending after the 2024 season, so they could use some help there, especially with Kareem Hunt also leaving. So they could use some help. Um, both on that front seven and at running back. Um, next up, we got the Broncos. They traded their first round picks to the Seahawks and Saints. Their needs are center, edge, and running back. Um, so, obviously, the new head coach and Sean Payton do have a lot of the offensive line appearing to be set in stone. But the question turns to the middle where there will be a competition. Um, also in the backfield, Denver needs to find some depth um, with Randy Gregory and Javante Williams both coming off season ending injuries. Need to find some depth at their um, positions at edge and running back. Um, that's going to be big need for them, I feel like. Um, finding some depth there to help them. Uh, next we got the Rams who traded their first run pick to the Detroit Lions. Um, so their biggest needs are at edge, cornerback, and D-line, but there are needs at almost every position right now for the Rams. Um, but the biggest hole appears to be at edge rusher and then corner, um, because they released Bobby Wagner, um, they released Bobby Wagner, well at edge they released Leonard Floyd, don't have him anymore. So now it's up to a bunch of young bucks who are going to be fighting for that position, but they need to add at least one or two more guys into that competition to take some snaps. Um, Michael Hoyt, who used to be D-line, D-lineman switched over to edge last year, and he really showed out there um, at edge, but also at corner, he traded away Jalen Ramsey, he could use some help there, could use, you know, good, solid corner depth there, they don't have any. Um, next up we get the Dolphins who um, traded their first round pick from the 49ers to the Broncos. Um, their biggest needs are tight end, offensive tackle, and linebacker. Um, so their top two tight ends were free agents after the season. That is a position that needs to be addressed at some point. Um, the depth at offensive tackle was also exposed with injuries to both Theron Armstead and Austin Jackson last season. Um, they have added a linebacker, but could use help both inside and out. Um, so they could use them out on the um, front seven and both tight end and all tackle. Um, finally, we have the the 49ers who trade their first round pick to the Dolphins. Um, their biggest needs are O-line, cornerback, and edge. Um, so right now, the right tackle should be at the top of the wish list for the 49ers to replace Mike McGlinchey. Um, they also need to replenish the depth and competition in a couple of spots on the defense. But other than that, they don't have a whole lot of needs on their roster. Um, but that is going to be all for today's video, guys, and I will uh, see you guys next time.